It's a pretty incredible information that Canada is one of the lowest organ donation rates in the world. Every week, about five people in this country die waiting for a transplant. But a young Langford woman is already alive today because she had not one, but two life-saving heart transplants. Tess Van Stratton has her incredible story in this week's Vital People. To see Evan Fisher now, you'd never know the 19-year-old Langford student has had not one, but two life-saving heart transplants. She's just my little miracle, for sure. It was May 2004 on a Sunday night when I got a call from my obstetrician. Tamara's first ultrasound had detected major heart defects in her baby, and the options weren't good. Termination of pregnancy, continuation of pregnancy with palliative care, Evan's only chance of survival was a heart transplant. They didn't do transplants at BC Children's at that time, so we were sent to Toronto. Uh, she had zero chance of living unless a heart became available. It was a lot to watch her go through that as a baby. Doctors didn't think Evan would get a heart. She was so sick and the chances of getting a heart was really rare. But when she was just five weeks old, despite the odds stacked against her, a heart became available. Two children, two babies could have passed, but how amazing was it that this young family were able to give this gift so one could live? The transplant was a huge success, and after several months in Toronto where the David Foster Foundation paid for rent and other non-medical expenses, they were able to come back to BC. But then, just before Evan's eighth birthday, another blow. Out of nowhere, she had a heart attack. We were at a friend's house for dinner. They were just about to play a game outside the kids, and she just face planted on the pavement. Once again, a heart transplant was the only option, this time in Edmonton. They said she had a 4% chance of getting a heart because she was highly sensitized due to having a previous transplant and all the antibodies but she had like a 0% chance for the first heart. So to me, that 4% chance was like a 400% chance. Tamara clung to that hope. The David Foster Foundation again supported them. And in August of 2012, Evan had her second heart transplant. All of this is happening because of organ donation, because you chose to say yes in a time where yes might have not have been a word in your vocabulary, but you said yes. More than 4,000 Canadians are waiting for an organ transplant, and around five people die each week waiting. Canada still has one of the worst organ and tissue donor rates in the world, but Evan hopes her story will help inspire people to sign up. I encourage you that to go for it. In the end, you can help so many people and so many lives and so many families. One organ donor can save up to eight lives, and to the two families that saved hers. First, I would say thank you for everything, for giving me all this, for all these memories I can make, all these achievements I can do. And I'm sorry, but so, so thankful. Evan has one more year left at UBC. I want to give back in any way I can. And she's made it her goal to make a difference in the world. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.